Yo, what's good guys? So in today's video, I will be finding a friend slash old clan member with my Hanabi team and answering some of your questions that I received on the channel as well as within my Naruto club. I know it's word, but says, Joe, new idea. You should make a tier list with hit priority. I'm actually going to combine this question with your mom's boyfriend's first question, which is, characters whose first hit have the most range. These questions go hand in hand because priority is a difficult topic to create a tier list behind. Not only is priority subjective, it's also ambiguous, meaning like there's a lot that goes into um, priority, for example. In order to get an accurate um, tier list, we'll need to calculate a lot of things such as the character distance, which is the distance between uh, your character and your opponent's character, the uh, speed, so how fast is the first hit measured in frames, which I already did a tier list about, um, the rate of change, so this is like how fast a character's um, combo transition from one hit to the other, um, so they're, how fast a character can go through their IC1, IC2, IC3, and so on. We'll also need to account for the length, so the distance that the hitbox is away from the, from the character that's firing it. The radius, so how big is that hitbox? Does it um, have a back hit to it? Um, can it uh, hit supports? Uh, and not only that, we, we'll need to calculate uh, like momentum, um, how far the character, um, how far does the character's distance, uh, how fast does, um, getting tongue tied, so the distance that the character travels is what I'm saying, how far is it, um, the type of damage that's within their combo, so is it a projectile or is it a physical hit, um, because if there are two projectiles clashing with one another, if they are within the same priority levels, it will um, stop the combo. I mentioned all of that just so you can see the complexity of making a definitive tier list about priority. There's just so much to account for, and plus there's 113 or so characters in this game and I'll have to go through every single one of the combos. And plus, priority isn't definitive, it's all matchup dependent, right? And plus, it takes so long, and I'm sure there's a lot of things I'm not accounting for that I mentioned earlier. And plus, I don't have the information to create accurate tier lists regarding that. Um, but thanks for your question, let's move on to the next one. Alright, speed round since I spent so much time on the first question. Your mom's boyfriend asked, who has the longest grab in the game? Off the top of my head, I think it's Jugo. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Jugo. Who has the best awakening? Oh man, so there's a lot of good awakenings in this game like Granny Chio and Fu that aren't very used. And even Udakata, he has a good awakening as well. But honestly, I recommend you messaging Exact on Discord and ask him if you can make a awakening only game mode. Similar to how elemental damage works, how you can toggle it on and off. Uh, it'd be cool to see a feature like that within EVO, a uh, awakening only game mode. Then we can really um, test out who has the best awakening. Who is the best long range character, projectile characters? So if best is in context of damage, it would probably be Shino, Udakata, um, Tamari, and second Mizukage. Shino has a infinite and has a 15 damage down combo. Udakata has a 15 damage um, 15 damage down combo and neutral combo and he has a sub trap and he uh, can loot his combos with a strike back. Mario's pretty good and 
the second is the Kage is pretty good as well. Who has the best traffic shurikens? Oh man, best. So it, it really depends on the context. There's a lot of good shurikens in the game. Like Rinish Sharingan Sasuke, his Chaku Shurikens are fast, good at applying pressure, and um, good at interrupting your opponents as well. Uh, Minato's Shurikens are really good because it's reliable in terms of applying damage, and honestly, if we're talking about like the capabilities of the Chaku Shuriken, it's probably PTS Gara. If you haven't seen it already, he could straight up kill you with his Chaku Shurikens. Um, this 0 to 100 you, or however you would like to say it. Um, I made a glitch video and put him in it, so if you haven't seen it already, check that out and you can see the capabilities of Gara's Trucker Shuriken. Okay, next question. Best Rush Dawn characters? So you may see a lot of success with characters like Yugito, Nagato, and Neji. But it really comes down to a skill issue when, it, uh, when you want to rush down a uh, opponent. So you want to utilize techniques like dashing at your opponent, stopping right at their guard, and attacking them on the first available frame, or um, continuously applying pressure with your shuriken, utilizing your supports to assist you with applying pressure, so like double dashing for example and having good movement so you can limit your uh, opponent's options to play defensive. Alright, uh, most underrated characters that aren't being used in the game often. Okay, so I'm going to look at this from a competitive standpoint. So there are a ton of characters that aren't being used on a competitive level, which is rightfully so because within each support type category, there's a select few that really offers what you need at a competitive level more so than the rest of the cast. But a few underrated characters would be like PTS Hinata. She's really strong in 1v1 scenarios. She's a good boxer from a technical standpoint. She has really cool intricate details that give her a lot of control and pacing of the fight. And she offers a lot of pressure. Um, I'll be doing a a character guide on her because she's really cool. I would say Mifune as well because he does well against pressure and he's safe overall and he could be used as a good support at times. The only uh, issue with him is that he doesn't contribute a lot to the overall gameplay. I would say Kimimaru as well. He's very strong, he could go through his combos very fast so he could confirm his damage easily and his support is pretty good. The issue is that the support can be predictable if you see it coming, as well as um, is mixed. You don't really have much mix-up, so it's predictable in that regard. Another character would be Anoki. He's a really good character. I wouldn't say he's like the most underrated character because he's been getting a lot of attention and people are picking him up. Um, it's just the hit or miss thing about him is his juicy. If it's a favorable matchup, he feels so good, but when it's not and your opponent is able to go underneath your Jutsu, it's the worst thing ever. So, his Jutsu is not reliable in that regard, but he's a really good character. In conclusion, I think the characters that are deserving to be played at the competitive scene are being played. It's just, um, there are a few underrated characters that aren't being played much. But it's, it's rightfully so, like I said earlier, it's just better characters in that slot, or less riskier characters. Like, Kona Harmony is pretty good, it's just, he's predictable, and, uh, and pretty slow. Um, my girl Hanabi, she is, she's, she's pretty good and offers a, a strong threat up close to your opponent, but she gets stuck in her combo, so her as a leader isn't very desirable. Um, the only character I really don't see at the competitive level, I mean there's a lot of characters, but I don't see Boruto at all. Like, do people not like that character, or do people think he sucks? I'm not sure. Um, but I know there's just better characters overall. It's just, I don't see Boruto being played at all. Okay, so toxic playstyles are hard to beat. Um, okay, sure. 
So anyone with strong fundamentals where you have to uh, battle them on a fundamental level because these people would know where their advantages and disadvantages are at and they would minimize and take advantage of the situation so it's, it's really like a knowledge check when it comes to playing these uh, type of players um, another thing is people who can use jutsu switching effectively I'm not saying like people who just use it but people who are able to minimize their um, vulnerability um, by combining movement and juicy switching together. But I want to really consider those toxic playstyles. These are the true toxic playstyles, which are people who abuse um, mods within the game or game breaking glitches, such as um, strike back glitches and other um, glitches that I rather not name that are just straight up game breaking. But you can check them out. I post all the glitches on, uh, on my channel. But there are a lot of um, playstyles that could be considered toxic, like using certain support types. But if you want to know some like effective strategies, I can create um, a video um, going over these things. What's your personal favorite team that you use? Okay, so I have like around eight or nine teams, not that many. But I'm a believer in perfecting one team, then moving on to the next. So what you'll see me do is spend months on end using just one team and just learning all of the possibilities of that team. And I think overall it might be Sasuke the last and Hanabi just because that's the team that put me on the radar on, uh, for being a top player on the Xbox side. And plus when I put my opponent in the right conditions it's like I have full control over them for the rest of the round. It's really brutal. If I find any clips uh, with that team, I'll upload it to the channel. What are some broken tech that you can find out for each character that you can find something broken for? Um, there's a bunch of characters that have broken tech within this game. I would say my favorite one would be Jirobo and Kinshiki. But you can count on me uploading all of the cool glitches to uh, to my YouTube channel, either in my character guides or in my um, glitch compilation video. But with that, I guess that would be it. Um, if you guys have any like questions, I would love to answer them. Uh, just write them down in the comments below in this video or any other video, and I would I'll. Uh, gather them up and answer them in a video similar to this. I found this uh, really fun and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.